I went with my 500. Mm. Because that day, my mind was telling me, eat this money, you people will not have money again. <laughs> I'll be sharing how I sold my last 500 to God so that God will pave the way for I and my family so I came to this country and I faced a lot of challenges mockery you know denial so many things called temptation so there is this day my sister got some money from success grandparents and she gave me 500 peso no, 1,000 and I, I, I got 500. Was it 500? No, I think aside from that one. So she gave me another one. It was 500 this time around. And that's 500. I went to clean the church because I'm a sanctuary. I like cleaning the house of God. Yes. And when I do it, I don't want people to know. I just do it within my heart. Because that is what I'm being grown up for. Because in my family, even when I was growing up, we all cleaned the church. Yes, and along the line, while this Saturday we are going to the church, I lost my younger sister, Kahita. I think I've shared the story before. So it didn't stop me, even as a grown up, I still clean the church. You understand? I love cleaning the church. So there is this day I went to the church, I went with my 500. Mm. Because that day, my mind was telling me, Eat this money, you will not have money again. Eat this money, you will not have money again. No. Mm. In my spirit my spirit is saying give because if I give this money a big door will open so I went to the church this Saturday nobody was there because the pastor know that this Filipino pastor always opened the church for me I always go to church and I clean the church nobody's around so this day my sister was in school success was with our roommate and I went I went to church and with my 500 peso i cleaned the church daddy i was so happy i was singing but my flesh was saying don't give this money you don't give this money you hmm. so i went to the church after cleaning the church i went to the pulpit i cried though and my money was in my hand though hey because i know if i drop it in that basket i wouldn't want to take it back so When I finished praying, after cleaning the church, I dropped the 500 in the basket. Hi! You know, the devil, eh? the devil is so corny. He'll be reminding me, you guys will not eat, though. Go and carry that money, you. No food in your house again, no. Go and carry that money, you. Hey, my mind. I even went out of the gate. I still came back to church. Should I carry the money or what? I just said, let hunger kill me. That was, that was what came to my mind. If it's hunger, let it kill me. Oh my, don't suffer. Like, God should change my condition. People who are not supposed to talk to me anyhow are talking to me. God of Jabez. Huh? You know, people who are not supposed to say any shit about me are saying to me, God. People are laughing about my condition, about my current circumstance. So when I remember those things, I left. God, let me tell you something. That week, we are hungry. That week... We are hungry. See, this was our last card in the house. I can remember. It was even 40 peso. This used to be our last card. Me and my sister would go and buy bread and fish. Sometimes we buy noodles and, and plenty of water and cook rice and eat. Guys, it's not easy. See, it's not easy. Maybe not. I know there are people that if they have opportunities like I and my sister, they will go into prostitution. But we just always remember where you came from. Mm -hmm. You understand? Home training is really important. Home training is really good though. Train your kids well though. For tomorrow. Huh. Me. I'll be regretting at the time. I know it's not my spirit. It's my flesh. I'll be saying, huh, had it been I know. I'm not giving God the 500 I had. You know, when my sister go to school, I always see this is how I pray. I go naked and pray. Because God said he knew me when I was formed. He knew before I was, he knows that I was going to come to this life. So, me going naked, crying, rolling on the floor, 
I needed something from God. And that was 2016. I told God, please, I don't want to go to school. Even though people were saying, go back to Nigeria, since your parents doesn't have money to continue your studies here. And since no school wants to accept you, why not go back to Nigeria with the amount like poor? You know? I, I, I pick that word and I come to God, I cry about it. I said, God, please, do not allow the world to laugh over me please you know i keep praying i keep crying i fast you know that was 2016 oh hey i was like please god i stick I, I did not stop training i still go for a tryout i still work out i still oh, i was like god should bless coach you see coach god should bless coach for me he's been an amazing man you know guys it's not easy being a young woman in a country where that was when I knew that our parents are really trying because they provide everything you need but now you are fed up for yourself you are providing everything for yourself if the money comes from home you manage if it doesn't that was when I knew home economics was really a good subject and economics was really a good subject in high school things were really huh, bad you know there are times we don't even eat. I and my sister, we only give success. And thanks to his nanny, who always, you know, at the time, good people started coming our way. Good Filipinos. You know, there are times that when they send some money, my sister will pay her school fees. The remaining one will manage. We will always be grateful. Huh. When I sit down, I remember what happened in the past. I feel like God is great, you know. And I know he's about to do more greater things in our lives. You know, 2017, I went to the school for tryouts. Ah, I won't forget 2017. 2017 has been the best year of my life. How I met my good Samaritan who turned my boyfriend. I will never forget that year. I will never, like, I will never forget that year. That was the best year of my life. Meeting somebody that you don't know from Adam and the person decide to sponsor you from school. The person decide to fund your bills without taking advantage of you. You know, I know some men who who will help you but you have to give them your body first. I know some men who will help you but you have to do one or two things. But this man this man did not even say anything because when it happened i was like god this is the helper you was you, you brought for me so all the prayers i made 2016 you actually heard you you actually hearing my prayers and this is the best year to answer my prayer oh my god i was so happy and look at your girl, man. Anyway, I'm heading to school to go and do one or two clearance. Oh my god, I'm so happy. Like, someone is gonna be a graduate. Though I have been a very bad girl. Like, you know, I was so happy he came to my life. And I'm so happy that my prayers were answered. Please, I'm begging you. Don't stop praying. You don't have to meet somebody to pray for you. You should pray by yourself, oh. Pray for yourself. See, if you pray, God will answer. It will not come tomorrow. Some people, God will pray. Some people will pray today and they will, they will receive the answer today. Some people will pray today and receive the answer tomorrow. It depends on when. But don't stop praying. I know the devil is calling you. Whenever you want to pray, sleep will come. You want to read your Bible, sleep will come. But just try. Just say it in your mind. That's why he's God. He's everywhere. Just say it. He's going to hear it. I'm telling you. God never disappoints. He never disappoints. He did not disappoint me and he's not going to disappoint you. Your helper will locate you. He located me and he's going to locate you. I'm telling you, God is good. That's my video for today. Keep safe as I head to school. Bye-bye. Stay out of trouble. Bye.